In this tutorial, I would briefly and quickly want to show you how you can start creating some glitch animations with stock footage and displacement map. So the easy way to do this, in order to start, you need some glitch footage. I was searching free glitch footage and I found this website, which is free stock footage archive. And I thank them very much for this little glitching screen loop. I clicked on download here below and it gave me this beautiful animation a three seconds glitch, which is really perfect to use in this video. As you can see, normal three seconds. Okay, let me create a new composition to like show you what I mean. I'm taking my logo as like the first object. Then I took the glitch to give something to work my, to my composition, to, to the displacement map. On the glitch, I clicked, since the glitch was only three seconds long, I right clicked, I went to interpret footage and I clicked on main. Here I gave it two loops because I want this to loop at least for another three seconds because my entire animation is five seconds long. Okay, I do not need to see this glitch effect right away. How do we apply a displacement map with this glitch effect onto this logo? With a few mouse clicks as usual. You right click, select a new and you select an adjustment layer. Once you have this adjustment layer, you press Ctrl 5 to open the effects and presets. I already have them opened. This, and you type in this placement map. I can double click, it will automatically be applied to my adjustment layer. You can see we have on the effects panel this placement map. Now we need to give this displacement map information which layer it should use it should use the new glitch layer that I imported. And you can see immediately something happens to my logo, but this is a bit like too shallow, too easy, too simple. I want to raise the displacement to maybe at least 20. Okay, as you can see, it gets a tiny bit crazier here. And the actual glitch animation is really nice. So everything works perfectly. Okay, the last adjustment I, I do is to take this layer, make this layer shorter because you want like multiple instances of this glitch. I will control D, control D, control D. I just maybe change the color so I see that the browns are the displacement maps. And I place this here, I place this later, I place this later. Maybe the last one a little longer, this a little shorter and this again a little shorter. Now you see where I'm going with this. You have the displacement map set up with the glitch effect and on other displacement maps, like on other layers, you want the glitch to be stronger. For example, here horizontal, then again, nothing here, vertical and horizontal. Oh, sorry. I'm still having this one selected on this one. I want both to be heavily displaced. Okay. Then it comes back and then on the normal one, well, maybe some vertical, maybe shorter, and then another brief pause. And I could continue like that. As you can see, the end result would look something like, of course, you would need a better sound effects because mine are very basic, but they could be used. So if you get a better sound effects than me, then you have basically a very nice start to this little glitch animation. I hope this tutorial was enjoyable. If you would like to learn After Effects with me, you have links to my courses down below in the description. For now, thank you for watching this tutorial with me. I had plenty of fun and...